Fortnite Season 4 is definitely off to a crazy start. With all these brand new superheroes and of course the impending doom of Galactus the evil villain, we have some serious things to talk about in Season 4 Chapter 2. Of course, if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button because there are some secret things and changes and locations that you may have missed with this brand new season. And in today's video, that's exactly what we're checking out. So let's waste no more time and let's get into it. The first thing you notice about the brand new season four, chapter two, is the fact that there's a brand new spawn island. And really, it isn't even an island anymore. We're on a massive carrier. That's right. We're in a floating carrier in the sky, and it's a little crazy because it's definitely something new. There's also Quinjets all around this massive carrier, and you can use the big fans to fly yourself all around, which is pretty awesome. This by far is one of the best changes to Fortnite that we've seen in a while because we haven't really had a spawn island update that is this drastic. We literally went from being a spawn island to a spawn ship. That's nuts. Next up, we have Doom's Domain. Now, just landing here is a little crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean like really crazy. It's one of the only major POIs with the launch of season four, and it appears to be the only one that offers new boss abilities. Really just replaces the mythic weapons of last season. If you guys have no idea what these boss abilities are, they're pretty crazy. Now you can find Doom's Domain in Pleasant Park. It's sort of random because it doesn't take up all of Pleasant Park, but it takes up like a subsection of Pleasant Park that makes it Doom's Domain. I don't know why they didn't just give this poor guy like his whole own area, but regardless, he got a little bit of something, you know? Nothing too crazy, but a little something something. Now at this spot, there are henchmen and Dr. Doom himself, and you can actually fight this guy and take his loot, which is sort of awesome because he also has Doom's Vault, which is in Doom's Domain, so he has his own vault. Now, you're probably wondering, well, what happened to all the other vaults from last season, like Kits? Well, if you guys saw my video from yesterday with Iron Man, you may have noticed that yeah, it's gone. All the vaults that you guys come to love in the past season have literally just vanished like that overnight. And what's funny is the next section that we're gonna be talking about in this video is a sentinel graveyard, literally a graveyard where most likely Kit is today because they just got rid of his vault. But regardless, I hope Kit's okay because at the sentinel graveyard, there are a ton of sentinels. This is the largest unnamed point of interest in Fortnite in season four. Now you can find this place right near the center of the map by the authority. It's on the hill that overlooks Weeping Woods. One thing that's really cool about that is if, if you jump on their heads while you're in this area, you actually get a major boost. So that is pretty cool, but there isn't a ton of loot here. Literally nothing really at all. So it makes me wonder, what is this gonna be in the future? And I think I have an idea. It's the evil villain arrives in the Fortnite season four, he's most likely gonna resurrect these robots and we're probably gonna see a big fight. The superheroes versus the robots. Just saying, might be a thing. Speaking of landing, when Galactus does eventually most likely come, there are crash sites all over the Fortnite map. And I probably wonder yourself, Garrett, what the heck is a crash site and what does that have to do with anything that's happening in season four? If you guys remember in the beginning of the video, I told you about this brand new loading island, the spawn island. Yeah, well, the spawn island is now the spawn carrier and that spawn carrier has Quinjets and the Quinjets fly past your battle bus when you first load into the game. Now, those Quinjets, unfortunately, end up crashing. I don't know who's flying them. They sort of don't crash, they more like land, but it's sort of rocky because there's tons of henchmen, and then they deploy out into the world, and then they're trying to kill you. And it's absolutely terrifying if you don't have friends to take out all these henchmen because they have lasers. Before we used to joke that henchmen are literally laser-guided missile rocket launchers, but nowadays, they literally have laser guns made by Tony Stark. Yeah, Iron Man. So it gets really, really crazy out there. So what do you gotta do? You just gotta be careful. Don't get shot by the lasers. Now what's great about these places, they actually drop amazing loot. And when I say amazing loot, I don't mean like your normal greens and grays and garbage guns. No, they actually drop pretty regularly blues, epics, and mythicals. That's right. Now you're probably wondering, Garrett, what mythicals could they drop? Well, like I mentioned earlier, if you guys would have seen my Iron Man video from yesterday, you guys would have known that they drop mythic weapons like Groot's ability. You probably wouldn't care, what is Groot's ability? Well, <laughs> it puts you in a massive ball or like the Silver Surfer's board. It lets you fly, it's crazy. So the henchmen are there, they got drones flying in the air, shoot the drones, kill the henchmen, get all the loot and you win. Now, you can't fly the jets. There's been a lot of rumors going around. I don't know what's going on, but you can't fly the jets. The people 
have been assuming that you can jump in the jets and fly around. You cannot fly around. All right, we still got helicopters though. So if you really want to start flying, jump in a helicopter. You can't fly the jets. Maybe eventually we will be able to. That would be really cool, but I don't think so. Don't get your hopes up. There's also small minor changes that were made all across the map. One of them being the sweaty sands changes. If you guys didn't know, last season we had some pretty interesting changes with a skate park. And it was like building a skate park in sweaty sands, which wasn't complete in season three for some reason. But luckily enough for you guys, in season four, it's now been complete. It only took a whole season. That's a long skate park. Also, we have cool things like the Bifrost all around the map. On top of that, we also have a shadow base that's sort of like no longer owned by Shadow, but it's still there because Shadow no longer exists in this season. So I'm a little confused. It's really weird. The Fortilla is sort of like crumbling and not sure what's going on. Speaking of crumbling, the Authority Wall has also collapsed, but it looks pretty cool. So that's also a thing. So all in all, season four has a lot of changes. And honestly, it's been really awesome. I've been really enjoying this season. And I think it's been a nice mix up to include the superheroes and all their mythic special abilities. So let me know in the comments section what you guys think because I've been personally enjoying myself throughout the season and look forward to bringing you guys along for the adventure for all the new changes and all the updates that we'll see throughout this week and month because dudes, this is just beginning. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys later with a brand new one. Click here to watch the next one. I'll see you guys later. Bye dudes.